I'm John Skinner, and it supports my online fluke mastery course at saltstrong.com skinner. And I'll have links to the gear in the description of the video. Okay, somebody on the interactive section of that course on SaltStrong uh, made a really good request yesterday, and he asked that I go through my tackle bag that I use for fluke and show what I have in it, because he said he was feeling like uh, he was suffering from gear overload, trying to bring out uh, something for every circumstance, and this was really bogging him down. And you know what, I've gone through the same thing, and I feel like, uh, even though I've got a lot of stuff, I've kind of... Uh, cut down a little bit over the last two seasons. So I'm just going to share what I've got in the bag. And uh, all right, so uh, I've got a camera. And I understand most people take pictures with their, with their phone these days. But you know what? This one's waterproof. You can drop it. You know, it's shockproof. So uh, it's great to take out fishing. Now, um, people who follow my fishing for fluke know that I'm bucktailing and using teasers. So it's pretty simple. Um, I've got Ziploc bags full of bucktails with the weights uh, written on there. So, you know, here I've got five ounce, three. Uh, where I'm fishing now, uh, pretty much I need bucktails that weigh between two and six ounces. So that's what I have here. Uh, I've got you know, bags of bucktails. Now, one thing I want to mention is that if I use a bucktail and then switch to another weight, which is pretty common, what I'm going to do, and oh yeah, by the way, there's pliers in, in this section, so that's another thing. Um, I'll drop those used bucktails during a trip into this compartment, and it sure looks like I do that because it's pretty messy in there. And then when I get home, I'm actually going to rinse those bucktails, and I'm going to hang them up to dry. I'm not going to put uh, wet, salty bucktails in a Ziploc bag, because that would be a disaster. That's why, I actually, as I look at this, you know, these are all really nice and clean. Um, what else? All right, I, I've got a scale. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, it's nice to weigh fish. Hey, it's in a Ziploc bag. Keep it nice and dry. Um, so, the other thing I use is teasers. This is where I've really cut down the last um, season and it's going into this season. In 2017, I decided that I wish I had used like nothing else but these silicone skirt tsunami glass minnow teasers. Uh, I really developed a liking for them, and uh, so that's all I'm carrying. And as I say that, I realize I pulled out this little squid. You know what? Somebody asked that I uh, try this, and you know what? It looked pretty good. So. Yeah, other than those tsunami things, um, I've got this other squid lure in there. And you know what? Yeah, maybe at some point I'll try that. It looks pretty good. But for the most part, um, I just have the tsunami teaser. So that kind of simplifies that. I used to carry a couple of different things. So yeah, I mean, the main guts of the bag. And yeah, there's my 4-ounce bucktails. So what you might notice, all right, color. You know, if you want to get bogged down and have, you know, too much gear, then try to have like three of every color. You go out of your mind doing that. Look, I've got some pink, I've got some white, I've probably got some green in there. Um, I'm not going to knock myself out trying to have every color. What I'm concerned about is that I have like five of each weight, because if we fish some rocky areas and I'm using like one weight bucktail the whole time, and I lose a couple, I don't want to run short. And hey, that's it. Well, what else is in here? I just found the watch I was looking for. So you can tell I have not scripted this and gone through it, so I'm happy to find this watch. I don't know how that got in there. Okay, um, bucktails, teasers, rigs. You should have pre-tied rigs when you go out. All of my rigs that I use are all individually tied ahead of time. They're in separate bags. Uh, you know what, I have a saying, time is fish. If you're out there and you're tying rigs while you should be fishing, you know what, you're losing opportunities. Besides the pre-tied rigs, you know what, it's, hey, sometimes you go out in a boat and somebody runs short. Boy, it looks like I've got a lot of pre-tied rigs in here. I don't always have that many, but I've got some 25 pound test fluorocarbon and I've got some 30 pound test fluorocarbon. I like to join these leaders to the braid with barrel swivels. So in here, 
I've got a package of barrel swivels. So everything I need for the leader material is here. So between that, the bucktails, the teasers, I'm in pretty good shape. Um, but there's some other things. Got a cut line. Uh, you know what? Scissors are great for cutting stuff. You know, even bait strips. These, you know, hard to beat. You know, big clippers for cutting braid and cutting leaders. Uh, so I bring that along. And very importantly, and you can see this has been out there, uh, boy, it's hard to avoid the rust. A hook file, because especially if you're fishing a rocky area, you beat those hooks up. And it's really important to keep a sharp uh, point on them. And yeah, this is not the greatest file in the world, but you know what? If I damage a hook point, I can get it back in shape even with this rusty file. So that's in there. What else is in this bag? Uh, if we go in here. Really important. Sunscreen. Uh, you know what? Yeah, on my boat, I've got sunscreen, but I go out on somebody else's boat, they might not have it. And that's it. The bag's empty. Oh, and the bag is... This is a Berkeley Power Bait bag. It's just, you know, just some kind of tackle bag. There's a million good ones out there. I have to say, I've had this one for several years. I've done nothing to it, and the zippers all work, and I'm fishing salt water. So that's pretty impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, the other thing I bring, you know, I'm not using any bait, it's all gulp. Uh, yeah, this is where I've probably overloaded a bit. You know what? Uh, so this was from a previous trip. I just stuffed them all back in a bag. That's why it's mixed up. There's orange, there's white, there's the pink shine. And then I have just bag after bag. I'm almost using these six inch grubs almost exclusively. So I just have a lot of bags of this. Oh, and as I say that, I look down and I find the six and a half inch nemesis. And you know what? If I dig down deeper, I'm going to find some other stuff in there. Uh, yeah, I probably carry more than I should. The cooler works out nice because anybody who works with the gulp, they know the stuff leaks. It's disgusting. It gets all over the place. This way here, it goes in the cooler. It stays that way. I don't even want to see what the bottom of that cooler looks like. But, hey, it's all in, pretty much under control. Okay, one last thing, and I'm hoping you can see that. I'm trying to get it in there. This is my pre-trip checklist. Um, I would forget something every single trip without this list. And I'm going to get this close, hoping I can get that correctly into the frame without having to do this a different way. Rods, bag, you saw the bag. Boots, you know what? I launched my boat at a, at a ramp. I need boots um, to do that. Foul weather gear, you know, a lot of this is obvious. Um, and stuff that you've seen. Scale, watch, well, yeah, the watch was in there. Um, yeah, you know, phone, always got to have a phone on you. It's a safety thing. And the drift sock's important. The gulp, yeah, something new for this season, for me anyway, the Minn Kota remote. Because guess what, if I forget that, well, I guess I could drive it off my hummingbird, but uh, I'm not quite, uh, I've only used the trolling motor a couple times, so I'm not quite an expert with that yet. A uh, bucket for bleeding fish, sunscreen you've seen. Uh, if it's a kayak trip, there's some other things. There's the kayak seat, uh, definitely the vest. I mean, look, the life vests for the boat, they stay in the boat, but in the kayak, you got to remember to bring that. Paddle, yep, before I made the kayak trip list, one time I got all set up, ready to go, no paddle. Uh, the fish finder, again, you know, it stays on the boat, but with the kayak, it doesn't, you know, so you got to remember that battery. Uh, anchor, rod leash, paddle leash, rain pants, and a boga grip. And the boga is to, you know, if you get a bluefish or something, it makes it safer to land. So, yep, that's about it. I hope that uh, keeps you from forgetting something. I hope looking at the gear bag helps you simplify a little bit. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe.